Collegiate record holder, Kaylin Tui, who asked for an Olipop. Yeah. If she was going to sit down for an interview with us, which so, I appreciate. Is he going to like throw me one? Yeah. <laughs> this is a side of Caitlin Tui that not a lot of people see. She looks formidable on the track with her game face on, or should I say race face on. So it's refreshing to see you that way. Mind you, this easygoing manner caught on camera was taken only a few minutes after she did something really and truly insane. Yeah, you heard that right. American middle and long distance runner Caitlin Tui, who asked for an Olipop after a race, just broke an NCAA collegiate record. As of last month, Caitlin is a one-time NCAA champion and two-time NCAA indoor champion. This month, wait for it, Caitlin set four collegiate records this year. Yeah, four. How crazy is that? In fact, is there even a more popular athlete running in college today? With more than 100,000 Instagram followers, there's no denying middle distance runner Caitlin Tui has star power. But there's a good reason why the 21-year-old has so many fans on the internet. This year alone, Tui has broken the collegiate records in the mile with 4 minutes 24 seconds 0.26 and the 3000 meter clocking at 8 minutes 35 seconds 0.20. These are all amazing, no question there. But many believe that the best is yet to come to Caitlyn. So far, Caitlyn won 5 Gatorade Player of the Year awards before 2018 and her transition to college athletics saw her win the 2022 5000 meter title the NCAA Division I Cross Country Championships, and the 2022 ACC Cross Country Championships before continuing her exceptional form in 2023. That said, what she does in the 2023 outdoor season may well possibly pave the way for a successful outing at Paris 2024. In light of this, how is Caitlin Tui performing so far this season? Let's see. In January, Caitlin took to her Instagram to post a photo of her with the team with a huge trophy. Later that month, Caitlin won a new collegiate record. Believe me when I say that her fans went wild upon hearing the news of her win. One even said that Caitlin Tui is absolutely unstoppable. Even sports journalist for NCAA Digital Stan Beckton, through a tweet, expressed his wonder at the result of the competition. OMG, at Wolfpack underscore TFXC's Caitlin Tui ran 4 minutes 24.26 seconds in the mile to break the at NCAA track and field record at the Dr. Sander Invitational fire emoji. The record was last set in 2009. In a post, Caitlin said, Fun race this past weekend. Good to be back in the Ad Armory NYC. Around mid-February, Caitlin received a 3K collegiate record. Moreover, Caitlin Tui's assault on the NCAA record books continued at the 2023 Melrose Games in New York City, as she was third in the professional women's 3,000 meters, running 8 minutes 35.20 seconds to shatter Carissa Schweitzer's previous collegiate record of 8 minutes 41.60 seconds. The performance was Tui's second collegiate record in two weeks at the Armory, as on January 28th, the NC State star ran 4 minutes 24.26 seconds to break the NCAA record in the mile. In a post following the event, another fun weekend in New York. It was an honor to be able to compete in the 115th Milrose Games. Thank you at Armory NYC for all the love. It's good to be home. Mind you, those happened in the first two months of the season. By March, American collegiate track star Caitlin Tui added another couple of accolades to her resume as she won the 3000 meter and 5000 meter at the NCAA Indoor Championships in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which brought her overall tally of NCAA titles to four, and she's only in her third year at North Carolina State University. What's more, Caitlin Tui won her second NCAA title in 24 hours, although she didn't run a record either day. Still, Caitlin Tui again distinguished herself, reaffirming just what a special athlete she is. Doing something only a few collegiate runners do. Simply put, Tui won her second NCAA Division I individual championship in just 24 hours, bringing her overall total number to four. Just so you know, if you don't already, Tui's two previous collegiate crowns both came in 2022, first in the outdoor 5000 meter last June and then in November at the NCAA Cross Country Championship. That said, with her wins in New Mexico, she has now won at least four NCAA National Championship races that she has entered. In a post, Caitlin said, Not a bad way to cap off the indoor season. Feels good to be able to bring home two titles for the Wolfpack. Very grateful to be a member of this program and to be surrounded by so many amazing people. Caitlin kicked off her 2023 NCAA Indoor Championships campaign in the 5000 meter, which took place on March 10th. Tui took the win in 16 minutes, 9.65 seconds, beating a pair of athletes from the University of Alabama by two seconds. She didn't get too much rest ahead of her next run, as the women's 3000 meter was set for the following day. 
Despite her hard effort she put in the day before in the 5000 meter, Tui cruised to the win in 9 minutes, 10 seconds, 0.07, 3 seconds in front of second place. If you think that's it, think again. Caitlin Tui is just starting to unleash her full fury. I mean, full potential. Early this month, Caitlin made four collegiate records this year. How amazing is that? Competing at the Sound Running Track and Field Fest on the first Saturday of last month, Caitlin took down Jenny Simpson's collegiate outdoor record in the 5,000 meters with her 15 minute 3.12 second clocking in Walnut, California. With this, Caitlin was honored as the USTFCCCA National Female Athlete of the Week. This is the second time this season that a female athlete from NC State has been named MF Athletic National Athlete of the Week. Caitlin Tui joins teammate Allie Hayes in that regard. This is no surprise though, as her time of 15 minutes, 3.12 seconds, sits atop the national rankings at more than 17 seconds faster than the current second place mark. Although it was only the second event of the outdoor season for Caitlin, she now holds the number one time in the NCAA for both the 1500 meter and the 5000 meter. However, Simpson still holds the absolute collegiate record at 15 minutes 1.70 seconds, a mark she ran indoors during her Bowerman winning campaign. Although that may not be for long, so far Caitlin has demonstrated three of Simpson's collegiate records to number two in collegiate history. First, Caitlin went 4 minutes 24.46 seconds with an en route 4 minutes 6.49 split at the 1500 meters in late January to surpass the 14-year-old indoor mile best. Caitlin also made quick work of the outdoor 12 and a half lap standard and nearly hit the world standard in the process. 3.12. Yeah. You just took down the NCAA record. Um, it feels really good. A little bittersweet because I was so close to that 15 minute barrier, but we got some time, so that'll, that'll keep me motivated for uh, a bit. Caitlin's other collegiate record came at the 115th Milrose Games in mid-February when she turned 3,000 meters in 8 minutes 35.20 seconds. What's amazing, though, was that right before setting a new collegiate record earlier this month, Caitlin had a rough week. I actually had like a really rough week. I was not feeling good at all. Training, like just like overwhelmed and... It's finals right now? Yeah, I just finished school and just like, yeah, it was actually like a really rough week. But Not a lot of people can also wonderfully balance their career in studies. You know that. Perhaps this is one of the many reasons why a lot of people like to look up to Caitlin Tui. She's a true inspiration. What's next for her? We have our conference meet. Not sure what I'm doing yet. We have to decide in the next few days and then... Should do like an eight. Should I? Yeah. That'd be fun. What's more, Caitlin admitted that she's focusing on speed this season. Kind of thinking about focusing on the 15 at maybe regionals and NCAAs, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so kind of focusing on the speed, because like you said, you got to be able to close the last 15 hard um, if you want to compete at this level in the 5K, so. But that's not all for Caitlin. A week after claiming her fourth collegiate record this season, Caitlin Tui won the 2023 ACC Outdoor Championships 10,000 meter title. Caitlin, representing NC State, displayed her exceptional talent on home soil at NC State's Paul Dare Track during the 2023 ACC Outdoor Track and Field Championships on May 11th. This marked her impressive debut in the 10,000 meters. Caitlin dominated the race, clocking in at 32 minutes, 56.75 seconds, clinching the women's 10,000 meter title on day one of the championships. Her commanding performance contributed to the Wolfpack's success as they secured the top two spots in the event. Caitlin Tui has undoubtedly performed extraordinarily well so far this season, and it's making a lot of people extremely happy and excited for what's to come. In fact, Caitlin was discussed in a recent Flow Track podcast. Caitlin Tui is doing an unusual, like, season, outdoor season. And the reason why is because there's really no competition for her at the NCAA level. She's going to win whatever event she enters. She's More than that, they believe that Caitlin is at the top of her game this year. Good. She won indoors, three and five. Yeah. Whatever she runs, outdoors 15 or 5K or both, she'll win. I don't see anyone really challenging her. All that said, what we're looking forward to seeing is Caitlin Tui owning this season and receiving the Olipop she was promised. If you want to see who else plans to own this season in their respective events, check this out.